Hello and thanks for stopping by. My name is Sandy and today's video, we're going to the Pageland Antique Mall, which is located in Pageland, South Carolina. And we're going there to look for some Christmas items. Now my style of decorating is more on the modern side, but you would be surprised at what you can find in antique stores that um, will fit in with the modern look. And I actually like the antique meets modern. So even if it does look like it's a bit dated, I just think that's quite an interesting look, especially as it relates to Christmas decor. When I start to plan for Christmas, I always have a specific thing in mind for what I want to do. And so when I go out to the antique stores or the thrift shops or whatever, I'm looking for specific items to fill that need. Case in point, this piece here is quite interesting because I saw a piece online that I liked and it was considerably higher. And I think that I can make a dupe of it with this piece. If you've been watching my channel, you know I like to do um, dupes sometimes of items that I find that I may be able to recreate it myself or DIY at a cheaper cost. I am all about doing things that are budget friendly when I can. So when I'm going through the thrift stores, the antique stores, I'm always looking with that in mind. I also enjoy the nostalgia of it all. This Christmas tree reminds me so much of a tree that we had when I was a little bitty girl. Actually, the first Christmas tree that I could remember was a silver aluminum tree. Memories. <laughs> So a trip to the antique store for me is very, very fun. And I see things that I remember from being in my grandparents' home or even in my home growing up. A lot of these things are very familiar to me. I remember this style of furniture in our home growing up. So I just enjoy kind of going back in time sometimes. It's fun. These are a cute little find here. And of course, these are not antiques, but sometimes the antique stores just have just random things that are super, super cute. These are a little bit pricey. You can definitely find them cheaper at a Hobby Lobby or someplace like that, but they're cute nonetheless. I love the way that they have this garland displayed on this mantle. I just really think that is so pretty and so timeless. That is still very much in style today and will never go out of style. And then they have cute little figurines throughout the place that are nice if you are into that type of look. I am always attracted to the deer. They just are so pretty and so ornate. A little bit pricey um, at this particular store at this particular time, but certainly, certainly very, very cute. And they have them displayed in nice ways to give you an idea of how you might want to display them in your home. This lamp drew me in. This is gorgeous. Love, love, love this. This acrylic uh, base and the black lampshade. So, so pretty and very timeless. I could just stay in a place like this all day. So many things to look at. So many interesting things um, to look at and to um, admire. Just some very nice things. I saw a lot of... Um, ginger jars and things like that too that can be used in your home year round so not just for Christmas but they definitely had some really nice pieces this ginger jar was only $25 I still can't believe I left it there but I um, just really had no use for it and so I got to learn to even though things are pretty I don't have a use for it so let it be <laughs> When you thrift or you uh, go to antique stores, it's so easy to just start accumulating a lot of things and it won't be long before you will become a hoarder, <laughs> which is something that I definitely do not want to be. And so as much as I love globes, I, and I love travel. This thing is so, so cute, but I had to leave it there because I have enough globes. If you've been watching my channel, you know I have a whole lot of globes, but I just cannot do it anymore unless I get rid of something. And so that is my motto. If you bring something in, something has to go out because I don't want to have a bunch of stuff and especially a bunch of stuff that I'm not using. But that doesn't stop me from looking and admiring. If you like that chinoiserie style, they have a ton of it at antique stores um, at great prices. So if you are into that, um, definitely check out your local antique stores to see if you can find some as well, because they do have it. It's a great way to collect it if you like that style. And um, yeah. 
Here comes another cute little ginger jar. They really had a lot of them in. And you know, if you need ginger jars or want more ginger jars, you could always paint them too if they're not the color that you like, as long as it's the size and the shape that you want. So that's another tip um, if you like to collect ginger jars. This table here is absolutely gorgeous. Love that little side table. So, so cute. It's an Art Deco style with the black and the brass. Very, very cute. I really, really like these tall candle holders to the floor um, table uh, candle holders. Those are so nice and they look like they are a real metal as well. Very, very nice. I don't have the space for them, but those will be super cute with some candles on it. Or you can put pumpkins on them during the fall season or just ornaments during the Christmas season. However, they could be very, very versatile. Very cute. This is gorgeous too, this uh, ginger jar. This is currently at the Home Goods store, so you can definitely get that at a better price. And there, here's some more chinoiserie. They had all different types and styles. Um, the willow print, I don't even pretend to know all of them because it's not exactly my style, but I do enjoy looking at it. Now, I know that one of the colors of my trees this year is going to have a uh, hunter green in it or maybe even emerald green. I don't know. But anyway, when I'm in here, I'm on the hunt for that color, for anything that I can find that I might be able to use. I was looking at some of the glassware um, that they had. Didn't find anything in the color that I wanted, but, um, you know, it's a nice place to go and look because you never know what you might find. I grew up in an era where faux fruit was very, very popular, and then it kind of went out of style, but faux fruit is in. I love it now. I like to, um, I put it in my home and vases as vase filler and things like that. I just love it. And look at these um, candle holders here. This one with the deer. This is gorgeous. And I'm going to tell you now, this would have come home with me if I had a place to store it. Another thing you have to keep in mind, things can be super cute, but if you're running out of space, you just can't do it. But this is so cute and so unique. He would be beautiful as a table centerpiece for the holiday season or on your buffet. So, so cute. Love these green glasses too. They were so nice. Nice oversized glasses too, really, really wide. And this tray, I don't even have to say anything, just beautiful. One thing about voiceovers, you go back and you look at your video and you're wondering, why didn't I get that? That tray was so pretty. I should have gotten it, but I didn't. Another thing that you may be able to luck up on is some beautiful holiday pillows. I don't have a need for any more pillows and I like to buy pillow covers when I do purchase them just for a space saving. Tableware, barware are other items that you can find some really pretty unique pieces at the antique stores, um, you know, that you can use not just for the holiday, but year round. During the holiday season in my area, they do a lot of antique markets and craft shows that I do like to intend when I'm able to because you get a lot of DIY ideas and also things that you can purchase to use for your home. So I'm always on the lookout for those types of things. And even fall festivals, they sometimes have items that I'm able to use throughout the holiday season. So I'm always on the lookout for unique pieces in those cases. I like ornate mirrors, and that's another thing that I like to look for when I'm in the antique markets as well as thrift stores because you can find some that are so different. And something like this, even though my style is modern, I like to throw in a little traditional uh, piece here and there. I just like the interest of it. And look at these decanters. Are these not gorgeous? This was really a fun trip. I enjoyed myself. Now let me show you what I purchased. All right, so I'm back home. Actually, it's the next day, and I'm going to just show you the few things that I picked up from um, the Pageland Antique Mall. The first thing that I got was this dear candle holder. I just thought he was too cute to leave. Um, it's got the spot here for a candle holder, or you could put a Christmas ornament there. 
um, which is what I'll probably do because I only have one. They only have one in the gold color. This is not actually an antique because I've seen something very, very similar at Carolina Pottery, but they only had it in silver. So when I saw this one in gold, I just thought he was so cute. And he was uh, $14.99. And he's got that cute little brooch on him, but his antlers got me. I just have a thing for deer antlers, but isn't he cute? Very, very cute. Will be perfect for a centerpiece or on a shelf or whatever. So I'll have to decide how I'm going to style him. But um, yeah, he's cute. And then the other thing that I picked up is actually not for Christmas. And that's what I really love about this. It's an ice bucket. And it's more of the mid-century modern style. Uh, but I just thought this was gorgeous. It's kind of like a mirror color. And it's got some gold and the black. So you know it caught my attention. But it is so, so pretty. And then it has the gold tongues with it very very cute so you know i like styling my bar cart and so this will make an appearance during the christmas season um probably into new years you know but it could certainly be used year round so so pretty and i just think it really would match in with my style and what i like about it is so different like everybody is not going to have this you're not going to see it at home goods i don't think anyway i've never seen one like it but anywho I got that. And then I got this candle snuffer only because it was cute as could be. And it was only $3 for this. But it's a little Christmas tree Christmas snuffer in the, uh, with the gold base on it. So I like that. So I got that. And then the last thing I got, I'm actually hoping to do a DIY with this. A funny thing, the day before I went to this store, I was on the um, Inspire Me Home is that what it's called? Inspire Me Home um, site. And I was looking and they had this apothecary jar with the gold lid. I'll show you right here. Um, but yeah, and I was like, oh, that is so, so cute. So when I saw this, and this is um, a candle holder, you see the handle here. I said I could use that. I would like it to be a little bit bigger, but it's not. But it would work. So I think I'm going to try to take this off of here and make it into just an apothecary jar for candies or um, straws or something for my beverage station. But I thought this was so cute. And it was $8 compared to $54 on the Inspire Me Home. So if I can kind of make it work, it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's the end of my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I am just at the beginning stages of my Christmas planning um, and getting ready for Christmas. So if you're not currently subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so that you're notified when I upload additional videos. And to all my returning family members, thank you so, so much for stopping back by. And I hope to see each and every one of you over here on my next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.